Today we're going to make a pool lounge chair out of PVC pipe and plywood. No fancy tools needed for this one. We cut it all out with a jigsaw, although we did use a palm router to clean up those cuts. This video is sponsored by Krylon Fusion All-in-One Spray Paint. It's my go-to spray paint because it works so great on so many different materials. I'm starting with a couple pieces of 3 quarter inch thick plywood and I'm just going to draw the design right onto one of the pieces. I start with a pencil and I just keep layering in the lines until I get it to look the way I want. Once I was happy with the shape, I took a sharpie and made the line nice and dark. I'm going to cut out two pieces of plywood at the same time. So I stacked them and then drove a couple screws to hold them together. I then drew little tick marks every two and a quarter inches along that curved upper line. These ticks mark the center for one and three quarter inch diameter holes that I'm going to drill through both layers of plywood. I was really happy with the upper curve, but the lower one, it just felt like it was a little too parallel. So I drew a different curve and got my jigsaw and cut out the two profile pieces for the side panels. I unscrewed the two layers of plywood and now I have two nice templates for either side of the lounge. I want each side panel to be two layers of plywood thick. So I took some of the scrap pieces and screwed them to the template. I then used the jigsaw to cut just outside of the lines and then took the palm router with the flush trim bit to clean up all the lines and cut this second layer flush to the template. For the second panel I switched it up a little bit and rather than trying to copy the half holes with the jigsaw I just used the same drill bit and aligned them with the upper layer. This was a lot easier and it really reduced the amount of material that I had to flush trim with the palm router. Now I'm going to glue the pieces together and I'm using Tight Bond Type 3 waterproof glue. It's my typical wood glue that I use for outdoor projects. It's not really necessary, but I went ahead and covered up the screw heads with some wood putty. This construction plywood was pretty rough and splintery, so I just went over everything with my orbital sander and 100 grit sandpaper. I'm using one and a quarter inch PVC pipe. Now, that's the nominal dimension of the pipe. The exterior diameter is actually just under one and three quarters of an inch. I find that the easiest way to cut a lot of pieces to the same length is with a miter saw, but if you don't have one, I recommend setting up a jig and you can cut it just fine with your circular saw or even your jigsaw. I'm gonna need some holes on the ends of the PVC pipe so that I can screw through them and into the plywood side panels. So I just made a handy little jig out of the scrap pieces of plywood and a small piece of aluminum. I drilled all the way through the pipe and then switched to a larger drill bit and drilled a larger hole on just the top side. This will allow me to use a pan head screw with the larger hole serving as an access point. I stacked some scrap pieces of wood that'll serve as a depth guide and started screwing the PVC pipe onto the plywood panels. It's starting to look like a xylophone or a really big pan flute. And once I had screwed all the pipes to one of the side panels, I laid the whole thing on the ground, slid in the other side panel, and drove in the rest of the screws. The chair is really strong as it is with just the pipes serving as the cross members, but pool furniture at a pool party can take some abuse. So I took some more of the plywood scraps and then used a straight edge in my circular saw to, to cut some straight lines on it, I doubled these straight pieces up and then cut a brace two layers of plywood thick that fits in between the plywood panels. For the paint, I'm going to use Krylon Fusion All-in-One Spray Paint. It has five times stronger adhesion compared to Krylon General Purpose Paints. And what I really like about it is you don't need to use a primer, and it works on so many different materials. I have had great success using it on wood, metal, plastic, and even concrete. For the inside, I'm going with Gloss Sunbeam. And for the outside, I'm using Satin Beach Glass. I like the idea of this sort of two-tone effect because you can see through the pipes just a little bit, and I like just a hint of a contrasting brighter color on the inside. I just feel like it gives the design a little more three-dimensional 
dimensional depth. I've been doing a lot of projects with Krylon. Super happy with the spray paint. They're great to work with. So check on the links in the description and be sure to consider Krylon All-in-One Fusion Spray Paint for your next DIY project. This project was a lot of fun. It was really nice just to freehand draw something and not have to design it on the computer. I really like how the shape and profile came out and it uses relatively inexpensive materials. I actually think after seeing this first lounge chair, I started thinking how if I added more panels and used smaller diameter PVC pipe, I might be able to make a really big lounge chair where the pipes are actually bent in between these side support panels. But we'll leave that to another day. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks!